Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. I'm coming to you today with your weekly oracle card reading and today I'm using uh, some Asian cards. They are the Chinese deck here and another Chinese oracle right here and these are the cloak cards. So um, go ahead, make your selection. If you've come here for any kind of guidance for the week ahead or any kind of question that you need to have answered, then um, just make a selection from one of the three decks, which is deck one, deck two, deck three. And you can go down to the uh, description box below where you'll find the timestamp to go uh, directly to your reading. Uh, if you haven't chosen, you may pause the video at this stage. I'm going to go ahead and start with the first deck here. So for those of you who've chosen the first deck, which is this one, what have you come here to hear? What do you need to hear right now? Oops. That is the card. Okay, we have the loop, all right. Um, the card of the loop. Okay, so the first thing that, as this card fell out, the first thing I heard was uh, what goes around comes around. Okay, so the loop here, it, there's an infinity symbol. Um, what, it show, what it's showing us is that it's all connected and um, the ending is the beginning at any given point in this. And But what the message I heard was that um, what goes around comes around. So there is a, like, you will reap what you sow, sort of, and that what, what you're actually planting right now is going to come back in a different way and it's going to have repercussions. So the message for you this week is basically that be be aware of what you're doing and how it may impact others as well as yourself in the future. And and what and, and kind of brainstorm or think about what could be the, the various outcomes for the situation. Because one of these outcomes are sitting in your blind spot and you can't actually quite see it. You can't see it. You can't you don't even know it exists, but it's that that's going to come back and make an imprint. And, and actually um, unfold in a manner that surprises you. Now, this is not something that's uh, bad or something that's negative at all. In fact, what, it's, what I'm, the message I'm getting is that it's all in balance, okay? So it's all in balance. This is how it's supposed to be. And this is what it's meant to be. Um, it's all meant to be connected. And that there's nothing outside of you. Or there's nothing where you are, are kind of stepping uh, that you are excluded from what's actually going on. That is not the case. Um, you're all in this together. So if you're feeling like you are excluded from something right now, if you're feeling outside of something, if you're feeling like you are isolated, um, see it differently because you're not. You are part of this whole thing. Even if you are isolated at this moment, even if you feel that you're, you're, you're um your input, your your input, sorry, is not being taken into account, uh, or not being considered. There will be repercussions for whatever it is that you are putting out there right now. So consider carefully what it is that you will be doing, and how it could impact you in the later, as well as others, as I mentioned already. The other thing that I want to say here is that there is um, to everything that occurs. All right, so everything that's taking place here. There is an aspect of it which has positive um, repercussions or has a positive uh, offshoot. And it also has a, ne an, a negative upshoot, so like a shadow aspect of it. So it, not everything will be appreciated by everyone involved here. And um, this impacts one um, in a way that is um, quite consequent, meaning that if you take a particular action, you will have a particular result. So it's not like, you know, you can go in any given direction with regard to this and the outcome will be uh, the same. It won't be. 
you are whatever you choosing to do right now will have a very specific outcome okay and it's linked to everything else that you've done before and it will come back to bear upon you and it will bear on others as well so i hope i've explained that uh well enough here um what I get a very strong sense that whatever it is that you're dealing with right now, whatever it is that this, however that this message impacts you, that there's peace with it. It's almost like uh, the way I feel it. It's like a, a water, uh, you know, lapping at a shore, at the beach. It's just like water coming in and drawing back, and coming in again and drawing back again. And it's a very peaceful feeling. It's a feeling that's very. Um, it's almost like a blissful feeling. It's not. It's not like. It's not like there's something to be concerned about or really worried about. And um, the message that that's an overriding message here that uh, is for everyone listening to this is that this is all in balance and it's all at peace and it's all connected and there's nothing to be concerned about. Okay. It's just that um, you need to be um, aware that your actions have certain consequences. So that was your message for you today. I hope that was clear and uh, that does uh, resonate for those of you who've chosen these cards here. Um, I feel drawn to choose another card, which is actually quite rare uh, when I do these readings, but I really feel drawn to choose another card here today. Um, and I'm going to do so like this. So what other message did those, if you've chosen this figure, need to hear right now? What other message do you need to hear right now? I think it's this. Okay, so I have the card, uh, the lock. All right, so once again, just as this card came out, the, the first message I had was that it is unlocked. Okay, so I see this lock, but the message I have here is that it's unlocked. So what I want to say to you, uh, for those of you who are still listening to this and who are wondering what this is about, is that what may appear to be locked is not locked. It might be an illusion. Um, there might be another way around it. So it may be that it's locked on a, like perhaps uh, like there's a lock that's locked on a gate, but the gate is opened and you can just go through it you know so there's a lock like this that's just hanging on a gate and but the door the gate is open and you can still go through it so it is an illusion that this lock that what it is is there's no um that you have no entry into it or that you cannot go through it or that you will not pass it or that you um have it's out of your reach or that it's too expensive or that you cannot have it or you it's it's too far away it's all of that is uh, an illusion there is a way uh, through this and this lock has wings you know there is a way through this and it's not something that it's not stopping you all right all right so normally when this card comes up and if I'm doing a reading it actually is a a card which is stopping you it is saying take uh, you know take a moment pause uh, don't don't actually take another step right now. Uh, and that's the way I, I have read it previously. But right now it's saying to me that this lock which you're seeing or this thing that you're seeing is uh, actually just an illusion. It doesn't really exist. It exists within um, your worries. It exists in your mind as your worries and it doesn't really exist. Look at a way at which you can approach this from a bird's eye perspective, which will enable you another view and they enable you another perspective that where you'll understand that um, you have the power to be able to overcome this. Okay, so whatever it is that you are dealing with, it's not an obstacle to you. And it's um, you are part of the flow, as we've seen with the loop card already. So that was your message for those of you who've chosen this deck here. And moving on to the next one here, for those of you who've chosen this deck here, um, this is the Chinese fortune uh, deck. Uh, what have you come here to hear? What have you come here to hear? Okay, I thought it was that one, but it just it wasn't. not that one either
Okay, that's it. All right, so we have the card of renewal here, and I feel like I've chosen this card recently for one of these readings, or a very, very similar message a few weeks ago, perhaps. I might be mistaken. Um, so we have the card of renewal. We have a fire here. Okay, so what I'm getting is that something has come to an end. It's the end of a cycle. So something that you've been following for a long time, something that you've been believing in for a long time, something that you've been working at for a long time has come to an end. And for some of you, this end is not apparent as yet. For some of you, this ending will have come about um, without you ever asked, uh, having asked for it. So it might have ended with, with, and it's beyond your control and you don't know about it yet. And so this is something that you can expect. But it signifies renewal. So it, it signifies, um, it's the ending of it. What I mean told us that this ending is something that's needed. To, it needs to come to an end. It's, it's played out its course. It's finished, okay? So for some of you, if you are studying and you're finishing a course, this will be the end. You know, you will pass, you will move on. This will be the end, okay, of that cycle. You would move on to a profession, um, or to something that you'll be doing thereafter. If it's something, if it has something to do with a family kind of squabble, I feel like there might be, like some of you, the, there might be some kind of family drama or family squabble. This is coming to an end as well, okay? You, you've you played your path in, part in this, and this path has come to an end. It's finished, and there's a new beginning here, and it doesn't include that which belongs to the old. Uh, with this new beginning or with this ending comes a renewal of yourself. So you can actually choose to invent yourself or to respond to the situation in any which way you choose to. And this is something that is completely, there's an infinite range of possibilities that you have. And you can actually do so, you can actually take this and work with this in, in a way that's quite empowering for yourself as well as uh, for those concerned, if there are those concerned, I feel though that it's something that you're working with. Like it could be a project, it could be like some form of studies, it could be like a degree that you've been working on, or some kind of apprentice, apprentice, apprentice. Uh, sorry, apprentice. <laughs> I can't get this word today. Um, apprentice, apprenticeship. Excuse me. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. Um, I'm also being drawn to this 17, um, which is, you know, it comes down to the number eight. And I'm hearing that this this project is a success, okay, that whatever it is uh, that you've been busy with, um, it's going to be a success and you will leave it be uh, triumphantly. Now, you might, this does not necessarily mean that you will be completely happy with the results of it. So what I sense here is that there may be a bit of disappointment as well. Um, and I don't know why, I'm, I'm, I'm not laughing about the fact that there's disappointment here, but uh, I just, at the same moment, uh, for those of you who follow the Game of Thrones, I couldn't help but think, oh, this, this I got this image of, you know, the Game of Thrones, the ending being uh, somewhat, well, it's ended, and it's, um, but it's like somewhat disappointing, and and that's the image I got right now. Uh, well, it's it's somewhat disappointing for me, I guess. But uh, this is the the kind of um, yeah. This is there's something there's something that's triumphant here, but there's also it's not without its disappointment. So if you have certain expectations then it, not all of your expectations may be fulfilled and not everything may have the outcome that you actually uh, expect or hope to have. Or when you began this, when you began, whenever you began this, whenever it was, however long it, ago it was, for some of you it feels like it's been years. Like, I feel like it's been several years for some of you. Well, it's, it, it's you know, you might have had a certain expectation back then, and that expectation of yours might have changed since then. And you have different expectations now. And that is an alignment with this disappointment. It's not really that you'll be so disappointed or that it's upsetting to you. It's not really upsetting. This is triumphant. and But the end is there. And it is the end of... This is completely finished. Okay. So... Um, for those of you who are not ending anything and you're wondering, what am I going on about? <laughs> well... Um, the other message here is that of renewal, as is written here. So it's about you being giving birth to something. It's about you actually putting something or, or letting something go or actually uh, 
burning something, literally burning something, putting something outside of your life, um, setting something aside, uh, placing something outside of your door. It's like this thing needs to re release from you and you need to put it outside. And I feel like you might like be opening your door and placing it beside your door on the outside of your of your home. And there's this this other feeling that I get that you you know you'd be walking away from it or it doesn't belong to you anymore. It's like you take out this orb which has been sitting inside of you and you release it, and so it's no longer part a part of you. And as as in, in doing so, you actually are you are new, renewing yourself in doing that in just letting go of something. You could be renewing yourself. So it's not actually going through a whole process of you know, rising from the ashes or rebirthing yourself or, or some kind of sacred process. It's not necessarily that you'll be going through some kind of sacred process, even though that might be, that might apply to some of you, but simply that, that letting go of something uh, brings a newer you to the fore. And so um, I'm getting, I know it's like I'm get, talking again here about letting go of something, but that is, seems to be the message that keeps coming to me. There's this, also the sense that, um, there's also the sense that something would be birthed anew, okay? Something comes from the fire. Something's birthed from this fire. And um, so this fire brings not just ash, but a new beginning. So if there's something that is ending and you're worried about what the consequences of it are going to be, or what the results are going to be, if you're worried that it's all, all is lost from this, all is certainly not lost. And actually it's like, you know, there's a, ba a baby being born from this. So this is a whole new opportunity, a whole new project, a whole new being being born from this. And however it represents in your life, uh, there's definitely not all is lost. There is some triumph in, in this and the cycle is complete. And with it comes a newness in you. Or in, and, and not just a newness in you, but it, it alights it's like, so it's something that could be new, but that's outside of you. But uh, because it's new and it's outside of you and it, it impacts you in, in that you discover something about yourself or a side of yourself that you haven't had the chance to explore as yet. So for some of you, you may actually be having a baby. I don't know. <laughs> like it just feels like like this, this is baby here. This is new being that's being birthed. And then, you know, you get to explore yourself as a parent and, and see how you how you behave as a parent or how you respond to this new being and um so uh give me a shout out to me in the comment section if you are actually a pregnant and about to give birth and uh, because th that would be that would definitely be something that would would uh, apply to you here and um for those of you who um who are still waiting around hoping that i say something that resonates with you here um, there is one more message. Um, the, the damage that's been done uh, with this, okay, whatever it seems to may be, may have been destroyed in this process is collateral damage. And that is something that would need to be accepted and to be moved on from. It's not such a loss. It will grow again. OK, so this is not something to be concerned about. It's not something to be mourned excessively. It's not something to be worried about. It will grow again. All right. So what whatever it is that's collateral damage, it will be born again. So um, that was quite a, an interesting message. And I um, yeah, I hope that has helped you on some way in some on some level. Okay, so that is it for those of you who've chosen this one here. And I'm moving on now to the third option, which is right here. So um, I'm asking here once again for, uh, what is it that you've come here to hear? What is it that you actually need to hear at this moment? And what is it that will help you go forth? Okay, that's it. Ah, we have the rabbit. Okay, so in this deck here, uh, we've chosen the rabbit. So I'm not going 
to be giving you the traditional meaning of this card um, in this context. Instead, I'm going to be channeling a message. So one of the, okay, one of, there's so many, I've gotten like three different messages here. And so uh, I just need to be able to convey that to you in some way. Um, one of the messages is that there's something that you're working towards, which is of your greater goodness. And it's a very refined position. Uh, it's a very uh, good space that you're working towards. But there's sometimes that you experience a bit of frustration with who you are and how you represent yourself or how you present yourself, how, how you come across in the world and who you really are or what is inside of you that is this refined being that has this beauty that you want to share with the world. And um, sometimes you're misunderstood and sometimes you're not in, um, you're not really appreciated in the way in that you could be appreciated. And sometimes it seems like um, you could be, uh, in some contexts, it's almost as if you're in irritation to those people around you or those that you work with or the context you you will know the context in which I'm talking about here the where you're not completely appreciated where your beauty is not really seen where your greatness is not really cherished where that part of you is not act, that is that is your essence is not actually celebrated and but instead you are seen as um almost like a pest or almost like an irritation almost as if as, as if you're an annoyance and the reason for this is that the people that you are surrounded with, whether these are friends or family or people that you work with, I feel like it's like in some of these situations, it's definitely people that you work with. Uh, it might just also be people that you you um, you live with, you know, um, housemates or uh, dormitory mates or some, something like this. These people don't understand who you are. They don't really know who you are. And this is why they don't, because it's because they don't understand you. This is why they aren't able to appreciate you or give you or cherish you as you go forth and as you present yourself to them. And what I'm what I'm being told here is that uh, that that doesn't that doesn't change how they see you or how they uh, um, experience you. It's not at all. Uh, um, how you are and it's not at all how uh, it won't impact how you are sorry I couldn't quite get the words out there again uh, so it's not going to change your essence okay how people experience you how the world experiences you is not going to change your essence so if you feel sometimes that you don't actually belong here or you don't really there's you know that you don't relate to anyone around you or that nobody truly understands you um, it doesn't matter okay it might feel like it's a big deal and might feel hurtful and it might feel really sad but it doesn't matter because your essence is who you are and it doesn't change and that this is where you need to you need to bury yourself or soak yourself into your own essence and appreciate and cherish your that which is you which is truly you so that was one of the first messages i've gotten here um, the other message that I'm getting here is that, okay, so this is kind of related to the first message. That part of you, which you reject of yourself, which you may reject of yourself, this doesn't apply to everyone, but it might apply to some of you. You might reject your essence because others seem to reject it or others may, um, react with, um, irritation towards you or with lack of appreciation let's just say it's not always a uh, irritation or annoyance or a feeling of being of pestering the others it's not always that feeling it could also be simply unlike uh, they expect something from you which you're not able to de to deliver or that you are you you just feel like you can't please them um but it's I mean it's it's different for 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 all of you actually it's quite different for all of you but I want to say that that part of you which you uh which they reject or which they think that you, that you know or you think that they reject okay that is not something to be suppressed and that is not something to be seen it's not a shadow 
It's not a shadow aspect of you. It's not a part of you that needs to be suppressed in any way. It needs to be expressed. It needs to be put out there regardless of what people think of you. And if you're an artist or um, or a poet or a writer or something like this, it doesn't matter how those in your immediate environment receive your work. It's you still need to be able to tap into that which is your essence and share it out there with the world because there's certainly an audience for what you have to offer. Um, so if you've been doubting yourself or thinking that 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 part of you which you want to share with the world is not received very well and therefore you're not going to share yourself with the world anymore, just take a moment and reconcile yourself with who you really are and find your stealth and find your pride and move ahead because you need to be able to do that. You need to be able to move ahead regardless of what people think of you and you need to be able to do whatever you need, whatever it is that you've been called to do. You need to be able to put that forth, okay? Um, and whatever it is that you, you feel in your gut, you know, in your, at your instinct, whatever you, it is that you've been called to do from within you is what you really need to be doing. And if you are not appreciated or if you're being rejected and your, your applications are being rejected, your work is being rejected or your, uh, whatever it is that you're offering is being rejected, uh, you, it doesn't necessarily mean that that is a not a good thing about you, okay, and that you need to suppress that. And um, yeah, the other message that I have for you here today is that there's something that you have that is actually free and innocent and it needs to be re replicated or um, it needs to uh, multiply, you know, in the way that a rabbit would multiply um, quite easily. This needs to be multiplied. So it's something like, it's something like that's like an alchemical um energy that rises from within you and you put it out in the world and then it multiplies and then it it kind of like you know there are millions of them out there and it could be a book or it could be a film that you make or it could be a poem that you write or or even a meme you know <laughs> it's something it's something that you need to put outside of you which you may think will not be appreciated or may be seen as a shadow aspect of you um and it might be something that is seen as as not appreciated at all but when you you need to be able to conjure it up inside of you and put it out there anyway all right and this is going to multiply and it's going to be it's going to be great it's going to be wonderful it's it's a symbol of hope it's a symbol of spring it's a symbol of of renewal and oh well sorry not renewal it's a symbol of something that's eternal uh it's not a symbol it's a symbol of birth and it's a symbol of something that's eternal and something that can go on and that's something that has its own determination so whatever it is you put it out there and then it has its own life and it goes on by itself and yeah i think that is that is actually um what you need to hear today what what you've come here to hear today So I'm being corrected. So the, the, the image, well, the way in which I need to exp, uh, explain this is slightly different. So this thing that you're putting out, it's not necessarily something that's of innocence, okay? It's actually something that is, um, or maybe it does apply to some of you, but it's actually something that is, it's 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 something that's, um, it's like a product of something else. It's a product of an energy that comes out of you. It's like, um, like, you know, the Kundalini rising energy that comes out of you. It's a, it's like um, something that rises out of you, something that you need to uh, bring out of you, that you need to spit out of you. Um, that is, it's, it's not just one, it's not just something that's pure and, and beautiful and innocent and dainty or whatever. It's something that's, um, it's not vulnerable. It's got its own protection. It's got its own shield. And it's something that's, made out of many things that come out of you it's almost like a um a combination of metals with sands and stones and and fire and water and it's like this this thing that kind of 
explodes out of you, uh, but you have control over how it explodes and how you express it outside of you. So it's it's got multi multiple uh, levels to it or many elements to it, okay, and it's it's forged out of many things, um, yeah, and it has an alchemical nature to it. So it's not just from matter; it's it's something it's from magic as well. All right. So um, yeah, I don't know what that is for each of you. It will um, it will mean something different, but it's. Um, for you to find that within yourself and um, and share it, share it with the world. So I thank you for those of you who've come by to uh, listen to this message today. And I hope that helps you in some way. And uh, I wish you a lovely week ahead and many, many blessings. Blessings abound from Kismet Rising. Much love.